<laughs> Hi, we're Hello. live. Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome to our Why and How to Start a YouTube Channel uh, Masterclass. Um, an extraordinary welcome to our guest, Dana. Um, Dana's from Big Consulting. Hello. Hi. Morning. Um, if you are watching us live, let us know where you are from, where you're listening in from, where, you, where you're from in the world today. And then just a little bit of an intro. Um, Dana is, has 10 years of experience as in marketing and PR in South Africa and abroad. And as well has a BA degree in communications and management and an MBA from what I can gather. And we are very excited to have you with us again. You've been such a valuable part of our community, sharing all your social media and marketing um, knowledge with us. Um, so I'm really excited to have you with us. Hello, Thank Michelle. You. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. So tell me, first off, um, tell us a little bit more about your YouTube journey and what inspired you to start YouTube. So before I start, I actually, if, for everyone who watches, if you have a YouTube channel, just write it in the comments that you do have and what the channel is about. And if you don't have a channel yet and you want to have, so also write it in the comments so I'll just know uh, who's with us. Um, so yeah, so you know, it's kind of funny because I wasn't planning to have a YouTube channel at all. <laughs> it was really far away from me. I was so afraid even from like doing videos and stuff like that. But because I'm a, a foreigner in this country, I realized that at one point I need to put myself more and more out there and I really need to expose myself. Um, so I realized I need to make some videos so people can understand and see who am I, get my energies and all of that. So I didn't have the courage to do it by myself. So I reached out to Bridget Knight that some of you know from Shift One Degree. Yeah. I met her in a networking event. I remember picking up the phone saying like, listen, I've got something to offer. And like, and then I'm trying to tell her, she's like, mm, I don't know. You know what? Okay. I'll meet you at Canal Walk. I'm like, okay, cool. And then even the canal walk, she was like, mm, okay, you know what, let's give it a try for a month. Then after the first day, our stomachs were sore. We couldn't sleep at night. And then we came, we did the first lap in Lagoon Beach. It was amazing. And we fell in love with this. And then we started doing more and more. And then I realized through that, um, that I need to take myself to the next level. Um, and I remember watching this video of uh, Sunny, something I forgot her name, and she's a huge youtuber uh, she's actually from canada um so i was watching and i realized okay you can monetize it you can have it as a passive income in the beginning it was like oh my god i'm still douche and israeli i like okay i can see ka ching ka ching kind of stuff i said okay let's do it then it took me two weeks to sit in front of the camera so every day i put my lipstick on it's like okay okay today i'm gonna do a video by myself so you can literally see me on my first video sitting like this on the couch uh not feeling that comfortable and then slowly slowly i start to feel more comfortable and start I, you know start pushing myself to do more and more and then i'm starting to realize okay what's working what's not um then i've added like now in march another language my home language because it's kind of funny i started in english um and then i've developed and then i find myself because of covid doing so many lives all the time and i just want to say for those of you who want but what's holding them back is your insecurities your fears and you're not sure like you know how do i start what do i do where do i take it don't be i'm, I'm like you look at me now and i look so comfortable with the camera it is because i am comfortable with the camera but it took me a while to get there so i'm doing lives now for more than a year and I've been doing since COVID started, I used to do like three, four, five a week, if not more, and in two different languages. So you're getting used to it. Like even today when I'm on, like I was saying to someone, I had, a, I had my birthday, so I was so depressed before my birthday. And it's such a terrible day. And I'm lying and crying, I'm like, oh, I don't want my birthday and all of this. But allowing myself to do that, 10 minutes after I woke up and I made two videos for my YouTube channel and they keep on growing with their views. And that's the thing. It's all about getting that type of a system. And that's what I would really love to also share and give some tips on because I'm finally at the place that, yes, my YouTube channel is not huge or big, um, but I finally have a system with YouTube that I can see that YouTube start promoting my videos. So while I go to sleep, 
I wake up in the morning and my videos are still working for me. And that's what I'm trying, I hope to give you tools. Um, so I see uh, Elisama, is that how you pronounce your name? Sorry, I'm not full South African in the names. I see you don't have one. Yeah, but do you think it would be really beneficial? So I would like to hear what your business is about so I can help you understand if it is for your business. Um, and I see Michelle, she's saying, I don't have one and it's a channel for various spiritual topics. Also, like I would love to hear what the, your business is about. And I think that that was also your first question. I'm <laughs> jumping ahead. No, that's good. It's flowing beautifully. So, <laughs> so there so, we go. So, why should so you have good. a YouTube channel? And that's a good question. And I think, and I'll take it now in general on social media. The fact that there is um, a certain platform doesn't mean that you need to be there. Okay, let's start from that. And I can see it a lot with Instagram recently. In the last few months, Instagram became a trend. So now everyone want to be there, but it's not. So the first question you need to share to ask yourself is, who is my target market? Okay, and where are they spending most of the time? And spending most of the time, not just just yeah, we, I can spend all the time on YouTube and watch videos, but it doesn't mean that I'm there and I'm engaging there and I'm there searching for content for my business, for what I need. So that's one of the things you need to understand. Where are they spending their time? Are they there, are they not? And also, if they're engaging there or not, are they doing something? Um, so that's one way. And the second thing is as well, what's your message is about? And then you need to figure it out, what is the right way for you to package your message? So for example, there's certain type of professions that like in marketing, I can still write a post and I can understand you and explain you, but I can also make a video and make it even more clear with more tips and even demonstrate and stuff like that. So in my business, I can go both way. I don't necessarily need to have them both, but I can. Um, for, for example, for a makeup artist, um, you can have a YouTube channel, but it needs to be very specific with a very topic because not everyone loves to watch someone just to wake up. There's like, if you give it with tips, if you give it more. So you do have profession that it's very good for. If there's a lot of data, a lot of information, paying at, at like paying for the small like detail. Oh, I messed it up. Um, paying attention to the small details <laughs> and things like that you can. And also you need to understand, am I feeling comfortable with a camera? Yes or not? Um, if I'm not, so either to give it aside for now until like I'm working on it and building it. And on the other hand, you can also do, you know, with like uh, those different avatars today. So you can also yeah. find it like in animation and do cool stuff. But you really first need to understand. And I think the most important one is where your target market is. And it is going to help you to grow your business. And because we have so many different platforms today, we're getting lost. Okay, I'm personally like, because I do marketing, I'm in all the different um, platforms, all of them. I'm in Pinterest and Twitter, and I really, I, I like I do them all, but it doesn't mean that I'm putting the same amount of energy. So my main amount of energy will be uh, my Facebook, my YouTube, um, and my Instagram, and some here and there I'll go do my Pinterest, here and there I'll do the other stuff. But you really need to focus because you do have weeks. And in, and in YouTube, you need to be consistent. And I must admit that if I was more consistent, I would have seen my channel even growing more. Because I must admit, I'm still a human being. And I am not. I don't see myself as a YouTuber, okay, which is two different things, of you using YouTube to grow your business to you want to become a YouTuber. Those are two different things. Um, and I'll just explain it very quickly. So a YouTuber is a person that that's what he does all the time provide content on YouTube, works on YouTube. Everything is around YouTube to grow your YouTube and your YouTube become your income, okay? Because once you have more than th more than 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, that's when you can start monetizing it and earning money uh, for putting adverts in. Uh, so that's what they do. But if you use it as part of a support of your business, so you need to take in mind that if you're not consistent, you yeah. won't do the same type of growth that you would have seen before. So also something to take in mind. 
um, and a C uh, uh, Enneagram uh, coach. So for example, if you have stuff uh, you wanna share, okay? If you know that there is content you can share, tips, maybe share stories, maybe do some interviews with the people you work with, all of that. So you can take and have a YouTube channel to help you grow, but also I'm gonna link it, what's your key message? Okay, where you wanna take your business to and is it gonna be aligned with it? I multiply um, and I want to open channel to talk about my experience like uh, dairy for. Okay, so what's the purpose? And for those of you watching us, okay, what's the purpose of the channel? What's the topic? So when I talk, look, for example, and I'll take mine as an example, um, mine is all about, I'll teach you about branding, social media, and marketing in general. That's my focus. But you can also see that I'm focusing even more on social media because I realize that that's where the traffic is coming from. So I'm even more focused on that. And I'm really trying to niche myself as much as I can. So really try to think about a specific type of topics that you can chat about. Um, for example, someone that do coaching, um, she wanna speak about like empowering conversations. So she can take you to interviews and stuff like this. Uh, for example, you, Gwen, you can do it around maybe give bring different people that empowering your, you know, your group, the extraordinary women. And every time it's a different topic, but it's all about an empowerment. So you really want to try to niche yourself and think about certain type of topics that you can, you know, start working on. Because um, if your channel is going to be all over the place, uh, and it's funny because I have someone... Um, a client in Israel that are, she had two different channels and mom, like it's mom in style. And the other one was not really clear, but she wanted to have a magazine, but like the channel was on so many, like traveling, uh, yeah. some cooking something or whatever. That's a mess. So all of that can move to the, like a style of like the mom style. And the other one for the female entrepreneurs can be around topics that they can really relate to and learn. And if your message is all over the place, okay. that's what it's gonna look like for a customer. It's like, okay, that person, sure. It's like all because I'm like, I, I, you won't trust him in none of the topics. And you can see the difference between those people that do YouTube just to get the money in and they're all the time looking for stuff for sub, stuff for sub, which is subscriber for subscriber. Um, and really trying, ah, oh, please give me a like and I'll watch you and you watch me. And I must admit that in the beginning, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do it. And I started and I realized, you know what? It's not helping me to grow the right way. It's not even helping me to get even clients out of it. Today for me, my YouTube is something that also helps me to grow my business because it's support. You can, it's like my portfolio. You can look who am I, what's all about. I also use it to promote stuff. And that's the thing. You need to look at the social media as like a mechanism thing that you're using each other to grow each other, but also to grow yourself and promote other stuff and promote yourself in it. Yes, uh, I, think, I think it's very important to firstly to understand that you're also growing a community, people that want to understand it's more about you. And I think what's important, and I mean you touched on this, is that when you start off a YouTube channel, is ask why would someone want to subscribe? You know, what is this all about? What is your message? So if you ask what is this all about? What would actually motivate them to actually subscribe? What are you all about? And I agree totally, you know, those channels when people are just all over the place, you're not quite sure what it is that they're doing and um, what it is that they actually stand for. So I think if you ask, why do they want to subscribe? Is it engaging enough? Is it clear what information and what value they are going to get from me? I think it's, it's so much better when you actually start off and actually ask those questions and say, like I said, who is my target audience? What do I want to offer? You know, do I do want to grow a community and do I want to help show who I am? Because I think you know, everything is about authenticity. You know, I'm the last person to speak. I mean, Don, as you know, this is my second Facebook Live. I'm not very comfortable in front of the camera. But I think when you have a purpose and you really want to share, and I think that for me is also what I got over it. And now my purpose is, you know, to empower and to engage and to create the platform, you know, for community to have. But I think then it's so much easier you know, to be able to create that community and have an understanding of why you're starting something like this. And I agree with you. And that's the nice thing. If you do it, and again, it really needs to be a, in line with your business strategy, um, which actually is something that I, I was just not preparing some materials on it. But 
It is. If you know what's your business strategy, where are you trying to get, what are you trying to give people, what's in it for other people, what's in it for them for coming to your channel. And for Elizabeth, for example, you're saying uh, that you're talking about a diary format vlog. If you want to do it as a top of a vlog, what's going to be the vlog about? Okay. What are you sharing there? What's going to be unique in your vlog um, that's going to get people to want to say, okay, that's interesting. I want to follow that person. There is some, there's some message there. Um, and here you don't want to start because I'm thinking there is already so much information on the Enneagram out there. But you know what? That's the thing. Uh, don't. So what if there's so many out there? So what? You know how many marketing people there are? You know how many people making videos about Instagram and things like that? So many. But that's the thing. People buy for pe from people. People buy from certain people that they feel connection to. Some people can look at me and say, oh, my God, I love her energies. I, I, I can listen for hours. Some people, oh, my God, can she shut up? <laughs> you know, like, I cannot hear her. I cannot have, like, it's, like, too much for me. And that's okay. And that's the beauty. That's why you've got so many type of, so many type of people, so much type of content. And, mm -hmm. that, and that's on one thing, so don't let it. But also in your industry, in your segment, try to even niche yourself a bit more, okay? Try to see what's in it that you really want to focus on and that can be unique to you um, and really focus on that. Sorry, what is the MS? I'm a mom with MS. Sclerosis, I think. Sorry? Multiple sclerosis, if I have it correct. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. And I agree with Michelle. I think you find people that you resonate with, yeah, no matter how much you, it's exactly. Um, okay. And I really agree, you know, and that's the thing. You need to have your YouTube channel if, if you, and that's why I'm, I'm, I'm separating the being a YouTuber, okay? That there are some people who teach you to be a YouTuber, to actually do it as part of a support of your business. Um, unless you are that type of person that want to be all the time in front of the camera and really enjoying it and want to work for this and like work at this, I would not like, I would not look at YouTube and like, how can grow so fast? How can like, you know, rush into things? Chill, take it yours, like, you know, find it and you try it. And you can, even if you look at my YouTube channel, um, you can see, where I started with my videos because I used to have like videos of the business coaching and I put them out there because in the beginning it was just there. Um, so I can link it to my website. Uh, and I realized that that's not what was working for me. So I started adding more content about branding and other stuff. And I realized that wasn't super working because it's growing very slow. So now I found a way to put the branding in my social media and I'm chatting about this um, and from there. So it's really, so when you ask me how to choose the right topics, uh, so there's few things to bear in mind, okay? Again, what's your key message of your of your channel, okay? What's the name of the channel? Where you want to take it? Every topic needs to support it. Uh, the other thing, really try to find, to niche your topics, um, to things that you're very good at, the things that you can speak easily about, the things that people are actually interested about as well, you know? And if you're not sure, sometimes use the different groups today to ask. I would like to make a video on the one of the like those topics. Please help, like you know, just help me to choose on which one you would be interested to to hear more. And then put the topics. See what people want to hear. Listen to them. See what's working. See where their pain points are, and bring the topics from from there. Um, and that's one thing. Uh, there's actually a nice tool. As well, so once you know, like for example, um, the different topics that you want to speak about, um, and also one more thing before I said that, if there is actually a certain trend around or something new happen, do it. Don't wait for a week or some after. Okay, make it, make it now, and I'll give it an example. So because I'm an Israeli uh, and I live here in South Africa, I had reels before they had it. They're still not even like some of them still starting to get it. Um, Instagram have changed their uh, look and feel uh, with a shop and everything like now. And they didn't do it yet in Israel. So I said, okay, I don't care if I have power or not. I'm making a video now about the changes. And by doing that, 
I'm also building my name as someone that knows about all the new stuff. And I'm the first one to actually have uh, a YouTube video around that topic. So if you get certain topics that you can be the first, something new you want to share, some innovation, some new technique, um, some research that you read, um, a new product that you tried and tested and you want to, all of that just do quick stuff, not over, not over planning. So that's also going to help you to get some topics in, all the different trends. Um, and there's a nice tool on YouTube um, that it's half for free and you can do the paid version as well. It's called TubeBuddy. Um, and I'm going to put a link even like after in the comments. Um, and a TubeBuddy, what it does, it really helps you to choose the right title. Uh, and what it does, you write a title and then you go to the analytics side um, and then you, it shows you how many people are searching for this, okay, what's the volume of the search um, and the competition on it. And as for that, it puts your rank. So if your rank is there, you know that it's not the right one to do. If your rank is uh, good, you can do it. So I've got some titles that I got to excellent. I got 100 out of Apple. And that was like, I only took me a while to figure out how to get to this title, how to play with the chain. And once you choose a title like this, it means it's going to help you to get better results. So this is also part of it when you're choosing uh, the topic, choose the right title to it as well. So you can actually get the results. It is because we tend to think like, okay, and I can make so I'm making videos as well on Instagram. Um, actually, my first video uh, that helped me to grow and really open my exposure with YouTube was a video that I make on how to link your Instagram, uh, like uh, to put an external link on your Instagram if you don't have more than followers. I remember. You know, that. And you know how many videos there is on that topic? And I just did it because everyone were asking questions. That was the first time I was doing with calls that I didn't like it. I was literally sitting and like, whatever. That was the first thing I did like without even wanting to do it. And it was, and there's so many people who do it, but something clicked over there with the message, with my keywords, everything I built around it, that YouTube was promoting it. And I'm still getting views on it without even, I'm not even touching it. And I keep it's on growing brilliant. with it. And that's what you're trying to get to, to get your videos to work for you while you sleep, while you're working during the day. And that's the nice thing when you can actually monetize YouTube because okay. yes, I actually spoke about it the other day. I did a podcast about a passive income because we all think that a passive income, what do you mean? It means that I'm going to work hard now, but it's going to be easy after. No, it's not. You know, <laughs> yes, I have the videos from YouTube, the old one that people are still going to watch, then it's still going to bring me, you know, money in when I'm being monetized, but I need to still work for new content all the time. So really listen to your target market when you're trying to find those topics. Listen to them. See what's trending. See what's important for them. Try to understand what's their pain points, okay? What's like nagging them that they really trying to find a solution? Really try to look at it. And then you can use the QBuddy to help you phrase it, the title uh, for the topic. Um, you put, the, put it in the comments for us. So we can all have a look at that. And then would you like us to go on to our next question or do you want to address um, Elizabeth's question about Elizabeth, actual sales? Yeah. I can do, Elizabeth. let's do it, let's help Elizabeth. <laughs> so when you actually want to start, so first the easy thing is to have a Gmail account, but make sure that you have a Gmail account for the name of, on the name of the channel, okay? So link it. So I won't have a channel account on my name, like Dana, and then my business is big, Dr. Holding, so I won't do it. So first, start a Gmail account. Once you start a Gmail account, um, then you automatically have a YouTube. Also make sure, so don't do my mistake. <laughs> I've opened a Gmail, we opened a Gmail account for a community that I manage in Israel. And I was thinking, okay, just for us to remember, I put the date, of the birth date as the date of when we started the group, which make it a kid's account, which make it that I don't have to YouTube. So make sure that you don't do that mistake, that you actually put like a proper date that of someone that is more than 13, 18 years old. So you can have the option over YouTube. So that's one thing you need to pay attention um, because I just needed to delete the account and do a new one. Um, 
And that's the start. Then from there, you literally start first uh, doing things like put your profile picture, okay? That that's gonna be and what it's all about. So it can be your business logo, it can be yourself. And what I actually like to do is to put a picture of yourself with the logo with it. So if you can try and do it, and today it's super easy to do it with Canva as well. Um, you can remove the background and all that and just uh, link it, so that's one. You wanna have the cover, and that's something very important to do, um, which I'm actually too lazy to update mine. Uh, but in the cover, you put a picture of yourself or the topic, and, and as well, um, what you else do is, like write the, like what's the, 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 the channel is about, uh, and also if you know what are the dates that you're gonna upload the video. So let's say uh, for now, for me, it says every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, uh, which I wanna change now. So, and it's fine to change, by the way, don't be afraid to change. Cause sometimes things are changing. Like I had something that happened so quick, so I need to upload a video on Sunday. So I'm not like sticking as it is, but you can also. So this is the, in the beginning, also you need to go to the about, okay? and write some details on you. What's your channel about? Invite people, explain them. What's the channel all about? Come here, da, da, da. Also, you can add their links. Um, I think it gives you up to five links that you can put inside, but you can also, uh, you just can put up in the banner up the cover, only three or some. So you can put your website, you can put um, a Facebook page, whatever account that you want, or Instagram. Um, so that's just to, in order, like in the beginning, just to start building it. Another important thing that's going to help you uh, to put subscribers. Um, you know what? I'm going to do it well. That, so there is something called the manage uh, uh, the customized channel. Um, you know what? Maybe can, I can share my screen, and then I can quickly show. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to do share a screen. Okay, so let me know when you can see my screen. Can you see it? Yes. Okay, cool. So I clicked on YouTube to um, uh, customize channel, and this is what I'm getting, okay? So you first have the layout, uh, which I would really recommend to add a channel trailer, which is a, video, a short video that just, about what your channel is all about and that's going to help you to get more subscribers um, you can also that you can do from a second uh, stage when you have more than enough videos you can here literally um, divide them by sections as you can see I've got the Hebrew one marketing all that so that's you can do here um, you do have that branding part that this is where okay the channel customization you put your uh, logo you put your cover that's what you do here. And the next thing that I want to show you, and it's super important because that's going to help you bring traffic in, is this, uh, the video watermark. So I just downloaded a picture of like an image of subscribe and I marked it here, the entire video. So what it means that if you're not subscribed to my channel, in my entire video, there's going to be an icon of subscribe for people to subscribe. So you make it more accessible for people and encouraging them to subscribe to your channel. And that's something very important. Um, as well, you have the basic info that this is where you put the about. So I'm telling them, if you're entrepreneurs, if you if you my target market, okay, this is the place for you. So that's my name, come, I'm inviting, and I can add all the different links and I decide which one will be here. So I chose the first five. Um, so this is a very important one. I'm gonna try to show you quickly uh, how the tube buddy looks like you can still see my screen right you can see it's uploading a youtube i'll take your silence and the yes <laughs> sorry i was on mute because i was coughing uh, so okay. yes <laughs> okay so, so for example uh and i will show you how it works when i said about the title um so i'm gonna say how to um how to let's say grow your instagram i'll take the title here so basically i'm searching for this title 
Okay. Because I've decided I want to do it. So one of the things you need to look at um, is how many people have their views. Yes, of course, you can see now mine. But you can see how many views they have, who's the popular one, um, and also what was like it was a year ago, two years ago. And if you see that there wasn't a top, like a video on that topic for a while, so it's a great opportunity for you. So as you can see, there wasn't. That's one mine with not much views versus the rest, only seven views. So I'm not even promoting it. It's still at the top. Okay, and if you look on the right side with the two body, you're gonna have this part, search explorer. And it's gonna tell me, say to me, uh, show keyword score. So I'm just gonna click on that, and it's gonna give you here a score. So this is, for okay. example, very good. Okay, so I can see that the search volume is okay, not too much, but the competition is very kind of low. So it's a great combination. And that's what it's always going to give you when you start to searching for a topic. Mm -hmm. um, another thing, it will show you not only on yours, but also in every channel. Um, and let's say, you know what? I'm not even going to take mine. I'm going to take someone else. So you can see that I can see for others. Um, so let's say I want their video. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to make sure it's on mute. Yeah, you can work today. Um, so you're gonna see how it shows you also like on your, and I'll say competitors like this, but it's gonna show you how you can also uh, learn about them. Um, so it's it gonna come on the right side that is gonna show me a few stuff. So it's gonna show me how many people subscribe to the channel, uh, how many people, like how many views they've got, and I can also see their ranks. Uh, and I can also see um, and take some ideas from them to the text that I want to use. Uh, so it's just going to take a few seconds because there's a lot to upload here, as you can see. It looks and a lot like espionage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. Like, if you use the right tools and the TubeBuddy uh, is just you add it to your Chrome. So you can see that in, like, in this video, they have almost like 2,000 views. Mm -hmm. um, they have lots on Facebook, but in general, they've got 3.06 million views. They've got almost 45,000 subscribers out of 40, 415. Okay. And it tells me, and then it gives you the text that they used for this. Okay. Say, okay. Maybe I should also use those different texts as well and see. And then I click here and show rankings. Um, and then I can see their ranks. And I can see that they're very good because they're pretty much in the top 10. For some of them, but if you look at a how to grow a meetup group, they're the first, and that's how you can learn about us more and more. And, um, and if I'll go even to their channel, it's going to show me as well, um, like what's their score and how they do. Um, so it's going to show me what they've done in the last thirty days and in a lifetime. So I just see that like in thirty days, they had almost ninety thousand views for seven videos. It's and, and that's how the trailer looks like. Okay, that's how it's gonna appear on your channel. And that's why when you start a channel, you want to have an introduction one that people can come and say, and I can see they've updated a month ago. And you see, you've got the watermark here. Because yeah. I'm not subscribed, that's the watermark that I was showing you to add. Yeah. I'll stand here and I can subscribe to the channel. So um, and that's part of it. So that's why you want to try to get the people and bring them to you. So that's the trailer that I spoke about when you start a channel. So if I'm looking at their channels, so as I said, first I have a Gmail account on the name. Get the picture here, the profile picture, the cover, so you can see, you know that the this is dream around the world. That's what they talk about growth and freedom. You know exactly what he's gonna chat about. And they say new videos weekly. So he's not committing to the days. He's saying it like this. You can see the links that I told you that you can add. And you can see he, at one point when you have more than one video, you bring that side. Uh, if I'm already looking at here, and of course you've got the trailer. Um, one more thing I wanna show you. So for every video, you need to have a thumbnail. And the thumbnail need to speak, and as you can see, for each topic, it's got a different uh, design and different look and feel. But you wanna have something that when people see it, first it's gonna catch your eye, it's gonna make you wanna click on it. 
Okay. And it's also going to be in one language. So it's going to be one unique style. So you can see he's got his own style and he's maintaining it. And that's okay. something going to help you to improve your uh, click-through rate uh, when you do that. I'm going to stop sharing for a second so I can see yes. you again um, and see if there is questions. So really trying to show you and demonstrate you even more and more out of it. But YouTube is an amazing tool. All right. So if there's anything else specific, let's carry on then. And what are the things that we must know, have, and use? I know you've covered quite of them already, but if there's something that um, we haven't covered you want to share with us and how we can use it to promote our videos the right way. So to promote them the right way, you first need to have a good topic that is people are actually interested about. You, and, and I'm not talking people as everyone, and I'm talking about the target market, okay? And a lot of people, the moment they niche themselves with their YouTube channel, they were surprised to find how, how much they're growing and how much they can even get to millions, okay? So don't be afraid of that, uh, that if I'm saying to you niche yourself, it's going to be only like a 1,000 people or like even less than that. So first have the right topics that you need to. Listen to your target market and see what's working, what's not. Choose the right title, as I showed you, to use TubeBuddy, for example. Um, make sure that you have a, the right top note that really catch the eye, really very clear. People want to know also, also about. Um, TubeBuddy costs, I know the other one costs $10 a month, so it's pretty much around this. Um, you have also, I think, uh, like two different, like few different packages. Um, so it's not that expensive. So some prefer the two body, some prefer the other one, which is the VIQ, I uh, forgot the name. Um, I'll remember, uh, uh, VIDIQ Academy. Uh, that's the other one. So everyone prefers something else. I personally enjoy working with two body. It's more accurate for me. Um, but as I said, I'm going to read myself. To have the right uh, topic, make sure you have the right title for it. Have the right thumbnail for this that you know what the design is all about. When you actually also putting the video out there, so first make sure that you are having the des description right. You can put links in the description as well. Um, the words that you use in your title and in the descriptions needs to be in the keywords that you use, okay, in those keys, and make sure that you have lots of keywords that write. It's going to help you to promote your video and reach out to people. Um, that, 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 that. And the last one is also that the first 20, 48 hours of your video are crucial, okay? First 48 hours, this is when you need to start promoting it and pushing it a lot. So put it on social media, use the newsletter, whatever tools you've got, promote it on the different platform. Just do it and bring the people in. That's what's gonna help you. But it doesn't mean, and I must admit, that if your video is not necessarily running so fast in the beginning, sometimes something can click and it's running up. And you can also enter you know, an old video and change it. I also figured out more stuff about the keywords now, how it works for my benefit, so I went back to my previous videos and I've updated them. I've updated the description, I've updated that. You know, you can still push it. And one of the things you can do for yourself is, for example, you can say that every day you're gonna start, you're gonna promote a certain video on, on Facebook, for example. So every day, it doesn't matter if it's an old one, keep on bringing them to live, keep on putting them out there if it's relevant. Um, like, for example, if you're talking about a certain topic or like uh, I, I'll take uh, even on the coaching side or the vlog side and someone actually spoke about a certain place and you have a video on it, that's a good opportunity to add your link or make, maybe make a post about it and make it more alive now back again. Um, you know, there's a lot of different stuff that you can do and that's part of it. But really make sure that you are following the different steps that I said, which I'm going to repeat uh, one more time is choosing the right topic, putting the right title to this, um, have the title in the description, have a very clear description, all the keywords you're using in the both of them, you need to have in your tags, uh, which is the keywords, and also have the right tab note that really uh, 
speak it out, put it out there, very easy, very selling, but also make sure you have your own unique style to your uh, channel as well. Um, and of course, just start promoting it, wherever you can promote it, bring the people to views, even if it means you spreading it in WhatsApp now to friends, ask people to watch it, just to put it more and more out there. I think also what an important metric, correct me if I'm wrong, is, you know, in order to get the views up is the average watch time. So, you know, as you said, ask people to have a watch and not just the first few seconds. I think the watch time is very important. I think the algorithm checks how long people are actually watching it. I think so initially it is nice to maybe ask people just to watch through the video and have a look. Then want to make sure that people aren't abandoning the video the first couple of seconds. So it's important to get those eyeballs, I think, on there. And then Elizabeth also wants to know, which video editing apps do you use? Um, I'm actually using my laptop because I, I have a Mac, uh, so I'm using here. Uh, but there is one that a friend of mine was just promoting. I don't remember the name of it, but I promise I'll put the links after for the TubeBuddy and for that, uh, for that app that she's using to video, which is also very good. Um, but also, I yeah, the keyboard. I use something called Shortcut. It's S H O C U T. I'll also put the link. Um, it does get a bit technical, I must be honest, but it's free. But there are hundreds of how to videos and tutorials on YouTube on how to use it step by step for step. Because initially I was also a bit limited because I also used the Mac in terms of that. But um, I felt that the file size has got a bit too big to manage eventually if you want to upload it to your website specifically because normally you can only upload 34 megs or 64 megs to your website. So, um, but what I what I like about it is it really is, you know, foolproof step by step as well in terms of the, what, what we use as well. And I think also Capwing, uh, which is K-A-P-Wing, W-R-N-G, they also do different type of editing and helping you to get um, uh, like to move from one format to another and resize and all of that. So you can use that as well. Um, and I want to speak about what you also said about the, the watching time, which is also a, a very important topic. Um, and it's all about the retention and it's all about the analytics. And when I said, listen uh, to your target market, it is part of it. Um, see which videos are working or not from the amount of views. Try to see the retention. Are they leaving after a minute, after a two or what? So for example, if in the beginning I would have videos of half an hour because I just took it from the live that I did on Facebook and I put it there and I realized people are not really watching it fully. So I started to reduce my videos. Now I know that if I have a video of four or five minutes or like a bit longer, my, the people will watch more and more and they'll get like I'll get you a nice average, um, which is also something you want to look at. So really try all the time to look at the analytics as well and see what's working, what's not when people are leaving. Like even now I had a video of a minute and some. So that means that they're going to watch most of it. So you really need to make your videos, try to get them shorter. So as I showed you, when you look at someone else's video that you want to do on the same topic, so see when did it did it. If that was, for example, five minutes, so try to make it seven minutes so you can bring it at more added value. You know, there's different ways to play with this. And the tip is when you start a video, even start it with a question, start it with something that sells. Like, I'll tell you now, do you want to learn how to grow your YouTube from zero subscribers to a thousand subscribers so quick? And it's like, okay, I want to, and then you start watching. And then if I'm boring you at one point and you feel like you're not getting what you want to, you're going to leave. But at least I attract you in the beginning. So also trying to find a balance how you attract them in the beginning, but you keep them with your content. And also don't forget that in your videos, keep don't be shy and ask, do you like my content? So please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, hit the bell for notifications, you know, encourage them to do it. And don't be afraid. So I, in the beginning, I used to put it in the end because I felt uncomfortable. Today I put it in the beginning. I'll speak about it and I'll say like, you're going to learn this video, da, 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 da. And by the way, before I start, if you like my content, subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's start. So it just takes me a second and try to get your videos even alive. Um, I can see that like when I'm adding now and, and, and I, I, I'm glad that I have them. This is the one thing I'm actually glad to have a Mac. 
the editing so I can add some sounds when something popping in. And so you can put, put a word like coming in and with a sound, try to make it very like something that it's live, that it's not boring, that you don't see just one person sit here and speak to the camera without doing anything. Move them, get them to like, okay, okay, what's happening next? What's going to come up next, you know? And you need to remember that if you look at the messages today, it's all about mark in marketing. It's all about make the other person feel something. It'll you know, make him laugh, make him sad, make him annoyed, make him angry, make him um, worried, whatever it is. Okay. Not only the negative, but also on the positive, make him excited, make him like all of that, make him to feel something and make him to feel like, okay, okay. I want to, I want to, I want to know more. I think that person gets me. I think that person can understand like, you know, even if it's a blog, even if it's about coaching, even if it's about makeup, even if it's about hairstyle, it doesn't matter what's the topic all about. Okay. No matter what you do, you can do that. Right. I'll streak a finger at you there. All right. Um, we reaching 15 minutes to the hour. Um, and we've got one more question and then we can take some more Q&A. I know you've touched on some of the tips to get our first subscribers by sharing it out to family and friends and asking them to subscribe and share. Is there any other tips? that we haven't already covered so that's the one that you're saying now which is a very important one so yes you do have friends and family ask use your own networking it's free you know it's free of charge and ask them if you know someone that actually would be interested don't be afraid like please share it with them as well so don't be afraid to use your own networking for them to reach out to their networking the second one is as well what i've showed you the watermark that you put to your videos uh, which you do in the customized uh, channel. And that's very important. It's always going to be there. So even if they haven't decided to join your channel, it's going to be there as well. Um, start promoting it, you know, start promoting it. So for example, you have your art, we all on Facebook. This is on Facebook and not only, but you know, or even you in LinkedIn and YouTube. And LinkedIn. I would like actually to hear who's here from YouTube in the comments, who's here from LinkedIn and who's here from Facebook. I'm also looking on doing like all three I'm things. looking all over the place. So that's how I look a bit distracted. It's not that I'm not paying attention. But I was talking on YouTube and on LinkedIn just to make sure it's all working. Because, you know, I'm a bit OCD to ensure everything is working and work uh, in place. So it says, though, that one person's watching from YouTube. And okay, I can't read really it. Let us know if you have questions. That's kind of interesting that from YouTube. So please let us know and write it in the comments. Would love to answer and, and, uh, and help. And uh, as well on LinkedIn, like if you watch it from LinkedIn, let us know. Um, so the other thing is I will say we all use Facebook uh, and even LinkedIn. So what I'll do when I have a video or something like this, oh, okay, one from Facebook, cool. Um, and I want you to uh, use it as well, you know, to put your videos out there. And if it's a good content, people will start subscribing. So that's also mm -hmm. one way. And also, don't be afraid to, when you have your introduction uh, video, your trailer, uh, and that's what I've done in the beginning, I used to spread it everywhere and say, like, if you want to learn more about branding, da, 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 this is the place for you. I put the video, please subscribe to my channel, and you put it out there. Um, if you have an a email list, use it, send it. I started a YouTube channel. If I'm going to speak, da, 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 this is my first video. Feel free to contact me for more content and everything. Uh, and see Michelle is also from Facebook, cool. Um, and just bring it out there. You know, don't be afraid. And you're gonna see that it's not a matter of growing fast. As I look at myself in less than a year, I've got 400 subscribers. And it, was, it wasn't an easy journey because yeah. I decided I wanna learn it. And I wanna yeah. see what works and what's not. Yeah. And I wasn't, no, <laughs> bless you. And I went, and it takes time for you to figure it out yourself in it. And that's the difference being, being again, the YouTuber to that. It took me a while to figure out what I want, what's the type of content that I want to put there, where I want to promote it, what to do. Then I decided even to add another language. And if some of you, for example, do Afrikaans and do English, I would not separate it to two different, uh, to two different channels. So if that's something, for example, you're thinking about, um, or it doesn't matter if it's a different uh, language as well, and I'm glad I haven't, uh, and I had a big debate and I've checked in so many groups what to do. And I'm so glad I've decided to keep them both so I cannot cannibalize each other. I can benefit the power of the two together. And I just divided it to a playlist. 
So for the Hebrew one, I have a different playlist. Uh, so people get notifications, so they can see one time is in English, one time is in Hebrew. Um, I have clients that said, like, I was so intrigued to listen to you in Hebrew. It sounds so different from the English. So <laughs> even by my energy. And it was so fun. So people actually are not afraid for that. You're not even going to lose them. Uh, so if you have that benefit that you can actually do in both, use it. Help it to grow. But really niche yourself down. Um, and wherever you go, invite people. Put it in your email signature, okay, that you have a YouTube channel. In all your marketing materials, put it in there. Put it in the cover on your Facebook page. Put it on Instagram. Let people know. Put the link in Instagram. And if you have more than one link that you want to share on Instagram, there's the link tree that you can add, like, uh, to use, like, a different that. You can also check how it looks on my Instagram account, the link tree. And I can add more and more uh, links there. Um, as well, you can you can use all the different platforms. Put it in your website. I've got a section in my website about my YouTube channel that if people are already there, they can come here. So wherever you can, push it. But also, don't just push it to push it. Push it with the right people. So yes, in the beginning, bring the friends and the family because that's a start just to make it look like there is something there. But after that, please don't do this sub for sub. I'm telling you, I've tried it. It's not really working okay most of the people are going to leave you and they're going to unsubscribe and they're not going to say that you want the people that are going to enjoy your content uh because i must admit that i wanted to really grow and grow fast but i'm actually proud of myself i've got more than seven thousand views i'm getting close now to the 10 i'm already close to the eight after like four or five days because i finally find the right topics the right things to do and so do it um and i'm going to leave it here if you guys want to ask questions if Things are not really clear, and it doesn't matter if you watch it on YouTube, if you watch it on LinkedIn or on Facebook. Um, let me know if you have questions. If you feel uncomfortable to ask here and you're just enjoying the watch, you can send me a private message um, if you want, and I'll promise to answer. I always do. And hey, I'm going to use this opportunity to invite you to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> you want to learn more? Um, I also want to mention, which is actually quite a handy tool, um, well, technique, is if you're sharing, and I must just think I've got a link here somewhere, is when you share the link to your YouTube channel and the link, I think it's actually forward slash and there's user with a question mark or subscribe, it's actually like a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's actual link. So when people click on it, there will be a pop-up that says subscribe, which is actually a better step. So they have the option to say no, but actually there's a pop-up prompt. So whenever you share that link, so with our channel as well, whenever we put a link in our newsletters or auto signature, it will actually prompt you, do you want to subscribe? Um, let's actually just look for the formula to put that there, because I think that's also a handy way. You know, there's nothing for them to say yes, but it's just an extra prompt for get them to subscribe. So I think that's also a a handy way to get subscribers as well. I'm it is, and, and by the way, once you get over 100 subscribers, then you can actually change your URL on yes. YouTube in the settings. So if you look at mine, mine is with the big consulting in it, uh, which make it easier um, to people to find and to reach. And I must admit, in every one of my videos, in the description, you'll see all my social media links include my website. Like in everywhere I can, I push it. And, and that's the thing. But I also try to reach out to the right people. That's why I can see the group. And also the nice thing that the two buddies, for example, you can also have it in your phone. So it really is in my phone. And then you just show me that even while we speak, coming up, like I can see that my account was still growing, so it will show me the yellow. So I can see which one was growing, how much, everything. I can see my milestones. It's keep on pushing you with milestones. It gives you certificates um, that you can also put and promote. And so for example, um, I've got a certificate from the 1st of December of the 7,000. So I can put it and it's like, oh wow, thank you for everyone who's watched and subscribed and blah, blah, blah and empower them. And if you know more people that want to, please come. Are you doing a video here? You're meeting clients. Ask them to subscribe. Don't be afraid. You know, you're having a chat with a client. Ask them. 
they want to. And, and the one thing that I want to also give you as a tip, two tips, as I said before, really check your analytics. Analytics is super important in all social media and in general in marketing. Learn to read the analytics, learn to focus on that and see what you can take out of it. Um, and you want to take your YouTube channel to a place. I was actually checking it yesterday and I realized that I got like almost almost half half between the amount of viewers that I get from external links mm. to YouTube search, which is amazing for me to get there. Now yeah. I'm going to try to even take it to the better one. Um, and uh, Ruben, like if you have questions after, feel free to ask. Either keep it, put it in the comments when you replay it um, or uh, even send us a private. I'll be more than happy to sit. So really check your analytics. See what's working, what's not. You need to get to the place that you can start promoting your videos. That's what you're trying to aim to. Um, and that's the first one. The second one is also, even on, on Instagram, I use it. Like I'll put it on my story and I'll say, there is a new video. Want to watch the full video? I'll give you a link. And you yeah. can also put part of it in the IGTV. But the one thing I want to mention is that for all your social media platform, and let's say you're in only three of them, right? You have Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, or, or whatsoever. First, don't start with a new platform if you're not nailing and dominating the others. Yes, okay? yes, yes. So, <laughs> You want to find yourself working too hard and understanding, and then you're gaining nothing. So once you have your people in Facebook, you can move to Instagram. You have your people, you know what's worked for you, you can move. And that's what I've done, by the way. That's why I don't see myself as a fast grower, maybe versus others, but I don't care. I'm, I'm done with the competition. In the beginning, I was with, in a competition with myself. Um, and I'm done with this, and I realized, you know what? I'm growing the right way are working in a system. And that's why now I'm finally in a place that I can speak about YouTube because I'm finally getting YouTube. YouTube and I finally became friends. Um, so do that and as well, make sure that you have, the content is the same by, you know, by the theme of it, but make sure you have something unique in each one and each and every one of them. So you want to, so for example, this is a video that I would love to share on my YouTube channel. But most of my videos that I do, the podcast uh, that I do on my on my page, um, you won't see most of them on my YouTube channel because they are for Facebook. So here and there when I'm lazy and I need a video or in a certain topic that I don't want to do like a video, I'll put it there. Um, but for example, because on the Tuesday we do marketing, on the Friday we do personal development. So the personal development, I won't put in my website on my YouTube anymore. And I've got my YouTube with their own content and I've got my Instagram with its own content. But I do take some of my Instagram to my Pinterest, but I have an extra on Pinterest that is special for Pinterest. And that's the thing. Try to find something that's going to be worth for people to want to come. So if you're making videos on Facebook, don't have the same one necessarily on your YouTube because you want people. Because what's the point? Why do I need to follow you everywhere if I'm getting the same content? Correct, correct. Okay, just there, I found a link for those there, as you can see in the comments. That's just to cr to create a YouTube subscribe link. I found that very useful from when I added that in all the links in my um, auto signature and that it um, came through. I also just want to mention, if you are watching the replay, you know, please just tag us. I said we're more than happy to answer any questions. If you come across this a little bit later, um, let us know. As I said, um, Danny is always happy to share her knowledge, always. Um, and I just is there any other questions before we um, end off? I just want to mention if you haven't seen, um, if I haven't, if you haven't seen already, that is her YouTube channel. Just search for B Consulting, and you'll find that. Um, and then also on Instagram, that is a photo details as well on Instagram. And then just for us, you know, we um, we have, this is our second one now with you. We did Instagram as well. Please let us know. As I said, you know, we're more than willing to, these are for you at the end of the day. They, um, I love connecting with all of you, but we would like to bring you topics um, on anything that you would like to find out. It could be marketing. It could be anything, literally anything. 
fortunately with a network of extraordinary women we have a woman in every expertise in every field so it doesn't have to be social media if there's anything that you feel you might need specifically going into the new year please email us um this is all our upcoming websites the uh, all our events will have it you can have it look at anything that's coming up and then just email us at events at extraordinarywomen.com with your ideas and then we can um share future topics with you and we can plan if we can get going and um, because often we just guess what it is that you might want to hear about so um or something that spanning me because as you heard i'm a bit um camera shy but i said we're just grabbing the day we're just, doing this anyway. we're just doing this anyway so please email us let us know what more you would like to hear from um and we will be happy to um bring you content on that and have more of these so I, would hear, I would love to hear if this was if you learned something new from this uh what are your takeaways from this from everything we we were sharing today uh is it encouraging you to do your youtube channel uh, yes now what's going to be about and if you have a youtube channel so i'll invite you to put the links here so i can also take a look i can share it my feedback if you want i can also subscribe if if it's a if it's a topic that i'm uh, as a support and i'm interested so just put it out there and and really let me know was it helpful or not and if you want to learn more stuff so feel free to reach out to gwen to me and i would love to do more master classes as well um i did a bit of a manual um with for Michelle, because we were exploring YouTube and specifically leading up to this masterclass. So I'm happy to share that with people. I'm happy for feedback. Tell me what you think about it. A bit of research. So if that's something you're interested, email us. You can see you can use the events email address as well. Um, if that's something that you're looking forward to, I would love feedback because I'm at the stage of my life. I'm just doing it. I'm putting it out there. So I think often, you know, even with YouTube, I think this is something that a lot of us resonate with is that what we call also imposter syndrome. Sometimes we just scared to go out there like you mentioned. There's so many other people doing that out there, but I think what the world truly truly needs is us to show up authentically. You know, haters are going to hate either way, but you're going to have those people are going to love you anyway. And I just think, you know, if we show up authentically, be ourselves, what's and all and just share what it is that we're doing and build that community. And just do it. I think you know. Often we're just so scared. And look, I'm alive. This is our second masterclass, and I'm still here, <laughs> loving it. You know. So I think if we just put ourselves out there more, and specifically with YouTube and the social media, be authentic. Show up authentically. Be yourself. You know. Um, was the Lizma that said? You know, there's so many other out there. Yes, but it's not you. It's not your story. And I think with so much with. Um, with any social media platforms and you know you do it so well Dana is that you share who you are you know mm -hmm. um no one shares the videos the way that you do the way that you bring your own personal um message across and I think no matter if the message is the same the messenger isn't I heard this quote this week and I think that's so powerful so the message might be the same but the messenger is different and I think you know if you have your own story that's what makes it real and that's what makes people connect with you so show up be authentic and and let's just do it let's let's grab who we are and let's just put ourselves out and we have the support of the community to do that um you know um and you're welcome Elisma. as i said um i really hope that you encouraged to get a start please email me if you're interested in that manual i'd love your feedback because it's just me putting myself out there um and i'm so glad that you encouraged to start and as i said you know reach out to us let's see what we can do um we have to help you and i want to say that i love the way you explain it because you know that's what's branding all about a brand is a story so what's your story we all that's have a story we all have something to share so put it yeah. out there and bring it and bring it in a way that it's right for you. Uh, in a way that, you know, it's part of like, and, and if you look at my Instagram, you can see my healing process with myself. If you actually look at it, how I started it and I start putting my pictures and I even got like a crazy look and feel in my opinion, because that's me evolving. Like that's what I feel like now that's sharing my story. So don't be afraid to do it. Put yourself out there and don't wait for the perfect moment. So I'm really glad that we encourage you to uh, get started. So just start. 
don't wait. There's no such thing as perfection. There's no such thing as the perfect moment. If I would have waited for this, because I'm a perfectionist, I would never get there. And I'm so glad I didn't wait it because I can see myself now a year after where I am with my business on one side, but not only that, on the personal side, the confidence that I've built during that time. Yeah. And I was so shy from the camera. I hated it. I could not look at myself. I couldn't even hear myself. You can even ask Bridget <laughs> and we would make the live and they will sit in Lagoon Beach and she would just sit and watch it. I'm like, I cannot watch it with you. I'm like, I cannot even listen to myself. I'll go to the corner to someplace else because I couldn't listen. Yeah, I don't mind. And that's the thing. So put yourself and look at this as one of the tools to help you build your own community. You are part of the community. You are part of the extraordinary women community and maybe some from others. But what's your community? What's the story you telling your community? What's the niche of your community? And it doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't community. matter what's the top. Even if you're fixing pipes, you can have your own community. So yeah, yeah. I think that's a great place to end. Thank you so much again for okay. showing up, being here for us, and sharing all your expertise with us. I really do appreciate that. If there are no more questions, as I said, um, if you're watching this again on the replay, please drop them in. We'll happily answer them later. Um, and I hope this has helped you. Let us know in any other way if we can help you. Um, other than that, I see there's no more questions. Um, Dana, thank you so much. I really do appreciate you doing thank this you. with us. Thank you for um, inviting me. You are more than welcome. Thanks for being <laughs> part of our community. Other than that, I see there's no more comments. I hope we haven't missed any on LinkedIn on that. I see there's a new time. This is the first time I'm sharing all of this on the different platforms. So I hope the software did as well and they pulled in all the comments and I would have hated if we had missed any of yours, but I will go and look on all the platforms now just to make sure that we didn't miss anything. Other than that, have a wonderful day, everyone. And um, be yourself and show up. Yes, and stay consistent. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.